Hello everybody and welcome to this video. My name is Faithondas. Uh, this time with this character we will go and run, uh, speed run actually, Ragnarok Act in Legendary Difficulty and try to reach uh, the upgrade quest and uh, get all the three materials that we need to unlock the upgrade quest of Ragnarok. This is the bit that we made on uh, yesterday's video. If you go to see what this build is all about, it, the process of making a legendary hero and making this build as well, you can watch the video I uploaded uh, yesterday. The build is ready. After you have created uh, this character here as a legendary hero, this is portal to Ilos. And this is a portal to Corinth. You use the portal and you go to Corinth. Let's activate the skills. Welcome, For the first time ever, we are in Corinth, legendary difficulty with this build. Greetings, as I said. So, in this video, we will go throughout the whole act, uh, but uh, speedrun it, not actually the whole act. This way you can see exactly how you can do it and how this build performs um, in this type of a speedrun. Okay, here we go. We are using the movement speed skill to run fast enough to cover long distances. As I said in the previous video, yesterday's video, this is a bit that can uh, take you, if you are careful enough, it can take you deathless through this act in Legendary. Let's do this moves. Okay, here we are. Nice. The boss is down, let's go back to Corinth. Those Triton? It is unfortunate that the harbor was destroyed. We don't need to talk to this guy, let's talk, is but this is a side Skyrim quest. Is not the first we have to talk to it this one. And now we keep moving. This time through the eastern gate, this one. This is Shrine of Healing. We don't really need it. I'm not going to play any side quests. We are running only to unlock the, you know, the upgrade, the side quest of the upgrade of the items. You 
you don't got to get stunned, slow to down, frozen. We are going to talk to the NPC here for the main quest. Welcome. What isn't there to do? This build has 76% cooldown reduction to the skills, and this is where we can use quite frequently our skills. Also using the rally provides plus 10% total speed, which is awesome. Use rally again to get some total speed. Erkinian Forest. It is out that way. We should go this way. Now we can follow the main path here. The troll comes. There are some boss fights that we cannot avoid uh, in uh, this act. The most annoying boss fights will be the four bosses in that area, the minor bosses. Main bosses, but minor bosses, not big ones. I think this is the right way to go. Yeah. The good thing with this skill, the Colossus form, is that it gives uh, more uh, speed. The skill itself reduces your speed. Your journey. But since the skill makes your character much bigger in size, then your character uh, feels like it is running faster. And it actually covers uh, more uh, longer distances uh, more quickly. This is um, actually based on physics, real life physics. You know, an example we could give is uh, you have two people, you have one man, uh, he's very tall. 2 meters tall, height, and uh, the other one is a short guy, 160, and uh, they walk on a straight line, the tall guy, if uh, even if they walk at the same speed, 
the tall guy will cover longer distances faster. So this skill is very very good, especially if you go to do speedruns to have the Colossus form, because by using that skill you can uh, start moving faster. Okay, this is a side quest guy, we don't need it. Ah, this is also a side quest, we don't need it. Okay, let's go. It's a good idea though to activate all these river fathers because you never know when um, bad luck will hit you and you will get killed and then you will have to run all the way back again. Let's keep them busy with our unyielding phalanx. We run, we run, we run. This side quest here with the Nixie would provide to us one skill point, but it is not necessary to get it. Whose sacrifice? Okay then. This is the right way. So this is the place with uh, the four uh, bosses. Let's go and defeat the four bosses. Okay, pick up a couple of um, poses maybe as well. Why not? This one is still alive. How d oh, Arch Mage's Clasp. Wow. Minus 43, minus 40. Okay, for the recharge reduction, this is an upgrade, but it has 35 attack speed. Mine has 41 attack speed. Okay, we have to fight some of these enemies. First boss is dead. The boss dropped nothing. Let's get out of here now.
This is the way to the second boss. This is the second boss. Okay, second boss is down. Let's pick up the loot and uh, get out of here. Again, no loot. Okay, I don't have a choice here, I have to defeat these enemies because they will get in the way if I start fighting the boss. Now, boss fight time. That boss is a Rager one, he uses uh, thrown weapons, so... My unyielding phalanx couldn't hit the boss. It is a torque of fisting. And now we are going for the fourth and final boss fight here. Finally. Come on. Hardy Rig of Might. So, as we can see, this is a hybrid build. And it also has very bad offensive ability. I mean, offensive ability is 517. This for Legendary is a bad number. Uh, but still, the build for this specific purpose to just speed run Ragnarok and unlock the upgrade is very good. Let's pick up this item. Okay. Let's buy some uh, potions, especially energy potions. We don't need these items. Okay, let's keep moving.
The stolen box is the item we are looking for. And now we are going back down there to take the bot and go to Scandia. Here we are in Skedia. Now we will go straight to the boss, the Golden Boar boss, because that boss is of the main quest. Let's become big and start running. I don't know if I have any potions of speed. I have one potion of speed, let's use it. Follow the main path. Potions of speed are potions that come with Eternal Ebers DLC. I almost died. I was quite reckless in this case here. Mjolnir. Very nice item. By the way, we have builds coming up with Mjolnir. Not build, builds. Let's uh, kill these enemies here. Okay, nothing. Let's get out of here, forget this enemy. Let's go talk again to Kick Zilfi. Now we have to take another boat, which will take us to another place. Have you got my fur con? What? Really? Uh, this is a bug, sometimes it happens, if you click on, uh, uh, you get a quest, uh, yes or no, and then you click very fast outside of uh, that window, you cannot get the window to open up again. So we have to, to do something like, let's, I have to reload the game. Here.
this one. Okay, let's go. Hi. Hi. I don't know. Let's go. Oh, shut up. No. Main quest the rescue. We are running, we have to defeat another boss here to pick up a quest item, main quest item, and go and continue with the quest. This is a place where we can get killed with uh, this build. Ichthian Spire. This is the boss. Wrong button. This is a very nice item. I will pick it up, of course. Now let's run. Now we have to go up the snowy mountain. I don't have another potion of speed unfortunately. This was a strain of experience, but since I'm not killing enemies, it is useless. The southern gate, we are there. Here we are. You come here, you click on this one to put the item inside. And then you do these moves. I became big because when you become Colossus form, you also gain a, bu a buff to your uh, health points. And it will uh, help you stay alive. There is one more enemy. This one. Ok, let's open up the chest, although it dropped nothing good. We use this river fado and just in case we get killed and we go to the boss. There is a boss here.
Wow, many, many items. Okay, we have some very nice items here. I will pick up this one and this one. The... yeah, the other items are not really that good. So, these enemies do not really matter. Now we are going um, in this area. Let your sword, if you can't, if you can't. This is uh, the forge, the, the NPC, this one that provides the upgrade, but we have to unlock it. And, uh, unlocking this one means we have to run through the game even more. Because we need to pick up some materials. You'd better buy some of our stock, or the fungoids will get you. Don't get lost. We don't have enough gold, but it doesn't matter. Now we have to go down there and defeat another boss. The fun goid boss. The boss is dead. We are going back to Dark Lads, we point. Now we talk to this one. I'm very big and I cannot go through, really. The majestic chest gave nothing to me. I couldn't go through because I was uh, in Colossus form and I was very big. I couldn't fit uh, through that uh, hole, whatever. Very nice. Here we are in Asgard Greensward. Let's go big.
So I enough experience again. Useless. Let's not forget the boss fight that we will have to do here, which will be against the four gods at the same time. But in this area is uh, the first um, material we, of the three that we have to pick up to unlock uh, the quest, the upgrade. And the first one is uh, this one, this goat down there. You click on the goat, the goat drops in the mid of Valhall, you pick it up and you move on. You save on the river Fowden. Let's kill his enemies. You really you can talk later. Come. We save Ilva. And now it is time to fight some bosses. Then um, uh, I have this so bleeding poison resistances, this is very good. Let's go big. Big and crazy! My name is not Daisy. This guy moves around all the time and uh, sometimes if you have uh, stationary spells they cannot hit him. Freezing of Rhyme, very good item. It is a perfect item. Okay, let's go. Let's go! I'm not wasting my time fighting the Giants, we don't need to do that.
He missed. Here we will have one more boss fight. Let's do it. Okay. If we are getting there, if we can save it or not, it doesn't really matter. Now we will go and pick up the second item for the side quest. Let's go this way. We click on the well. And the item drops down. We can pick it up and go. We don't need to defeat this boss here. But since I'm here, I will defeat the boss. The Myth of Poetry. There is only one item left to pick up for this quest. Okay, let's use the reset player button. It will take you back here and from here you can run and go. Where you need to go. This way. Ah, not this way. Come on. This way. If we have this fountain. There is a waypoint down there, but I'm not going to activate it. Becoming big and running fast. Now we are going for another boss. It is the Mimer's Maze. Oh, we have yes. Yeah, these enemies, 
They don't go to leave me alone. It would be very funny to get a double character of my character, a clone, to spawn and fight me. But I don't want to waste my time now with these things, I just want to go defeat the boss and keep going. We don't activate this river fountain here, the second one of the maze. We want to have the first one only activated. Now, let's go, boss fight. There we are. Vestment of the Overlord. Very nice item, but we don't really need it. One more boss is dead. Not really dead, defeated. Now let's go. We are getting there, we are very close uh, to the end of this journey, you could say. Uh, this is a frostbite shrine, very good. Let's go, down here we will fight against a big boss, a very big one, this one. But I guess I'm bigger and more badass than this boss. The Earthshaker. There is a waypoint down here, let's activate this one. You never know, there is also a chest down here, it is an ancient chest. At least it is not a trapped one. Okay, let's go. We will need to fight against two more bosses before we can gain access to the third uh, material for the upgrade, the quest. We saved to this river Thaden, of course. Let's go, this is a demon boss which is about fire. 
All about fire, we could say. Which means it will take some time to defeat this boss because we deal physical and fire damage only. And the boss is dead, come on! Yeah. Open up the chest. Pick up uh, no good loot. Click the reset player button. It will take us uh, back here and then start moving on again. Let's go to the next and final boss for this run. It is not the final boss of the act, but it is a final boss that we have to defeat uh, to go through and uh, get the material for the upgrade. Okay, I wanted them to stay there and fight against my phalanx! Eh, yeah. Okay, I wasn't careful enough there. So, as I said, if you are careful in some cases, in this build you will not get killed. You see, this is my first death ever. Okay, let's fight them. I don't go to fight them because it's a bit of a waste of time, but anyway. Now, we are going to fight against the boss here. Let's go! I cannot stop here, I can only kill you. Wrong button. Easy peasy boss. I should go and buy some potions but we are almost there so I'm going to ignore the fact that I have almost no potions. All I need to do now is to run, pick up the item and even if they kill me it doesn't matter. Because all I got now is to pick up the item, nothing else. So let's go like this. We are almost there. The item is here in this area. 
You click on this thing. But... Okay, when you have so many enemies there, you cannot pick it up the item. I want to pick up the item now. This one. Chuck! That's it. This is it. We have all three items. We have mid of Alhal, mid of Poetry and the Black Ceiling Cut. We open up uh, this thing, we go to Dark Lands. And we come here and we talk to this guy. We give one item, we give two items, three items, and here is the upgrade. Now if we want, we can upgrade items. Legendary items or epic items, nothing else. This upgrade works with uh, purple legendaries and blue epic items. So this is it guys, as we saw, this character died only once. I was careful enough, but I underestimated those enemies, they were uh, too many together. Uh, but anyway, you see that for this specific purpose, this build is perfect, you could say. Despite not having perfect resistance, as I said, uh, defensive uh, uh, or armor, not defensive, armor, because defensive ability is perfect already. So, again, if you want to watch uh, the process of making this build and what this build consists of, you can watch yesterday's video. And this video was all about showcasing how to play with this bit and how good this bit is for this uh, specific purpose, uh, speedrunning and unlocking the quest. Now I have one more upgrade to use on my characters. Thanks for watching everybody, remember if you like what you see to subscribe if you haven't done so yet, we have a ton of Titan Quest coded in other games as well. Hit the like button if you like what you see, leave a comment, say whatever you want to say. And uh, I will see you very soon again with more live streams and uh, more videos of course. Have a great day.